Interesting um, sub-headline here in the advertiser yesterday. Drilling rigs are being mobilised to firm up resource estimates in what promises to be a new iron ore province. Explorers say there's a sleeping monster up in the northeast with high quality potential. And the new future of iron ore sitting in our outback. And uh, of course that article is referring to the, uh, the deposits in the northeast corner of the state. Someone who's very much involved in this is the executive chairman of Carpentaria Exploration, Nick Sheard. Good morning to you. Good morning, Peter. How are you? I'm very well. Does that stir the cockles of the heart, headline like that? My word, yes. It sort of uh, gives you a good feeling. And we were at the forefront of that and um, really pleased that it's going to add a lot of value to the regional area around Broken Hill. Um, you know, there's this talk of this new iron ore province. Uh, what does it really mean and, and what's the, the role of Carpentaria in all of this? Well, the province is really what they call a Braemar iron formation, which is a, a, a siltstone that's got a lot of magnetite in it. And obviously magnetite is the, what we're after, which is the iron-bearing rock. And this stretches all the way up. It, it almost parallels the, the road coming up from Adelaide to Broken Hill, from Aleri through to um, Coburn and south to our Horses Dam. It's all about 30, 40 k south of the road. And... Our role, I guess, is that we've probably got one of the biggest uh, deposits there. Um, we've been miles in front by drilling it all out last year and getting our resource out. So we're probably one of the first movers there. And um, we, we're we also using the knowledge that we've got from the Horsens project. We've extended it and gone way north of Broken Hill up um about 100k north to our McDougall's project, which we believe is the same formation, and uh, we're exploring up there at the moment. So we might indeed get some more stuff up there. Goodness me, that's a long way. It is, but what is good, you know, Broken Hill is a great place because it's got a lot of infrastructure. It's got power there, and there's a lot of groundwater south. So it's an um, ideal place to work. It's, it's not remote, and we don't believe it is anyhow. And it's a it's got a lot of services that can help you build a big mine rapidly. I mean, uh, some people are suggesting that uh, uh, this uh, magnetite source around here could be uh, the the preferred source uh, in all of Australia. Well, obviously I'm totally biased and I agree <laughs> with that statement, but the, the reason it is um, preferred is that, or we think it will be preferred, is that it's a very soft uh, siltstone that when you process it, it will give you very high grade iron, about 69 to 70%. In fact, ours is around about 69.9% iron when you process it, and that's very high grade for these um, style of deposits, and so it's going to be a premium product, so it'll be very, um, it'll be wanted to quite a lot by the Chinese. Are you there? Yes, yes, mate. Yeah, I think we lost you, but uh, you're still there. Um, yeah. This, um, the uh, pre-feasibility study on the uh, Horsens Iron uh, project, uh, now that's due out later this month. Uh, can you give us any inside uh, information <laughs> as to, to what we might expect from that? Um, I'm not supposed to. Um, <laughs> it, it's, <laughs> it'll be out um, probably later this week, and the process is that... Um, we're going to review it with our joint venture partners, um, and our aim is to give the results out in the conference in Broken Hill at the end of the month. So we'll be re hopefully we'll be able to release the the major part of that. I think it would be fairly safe to say that we wouldn't have gone this far if we weren't confident. What about <laughs> yeah? Okay. What about um, you know the following uh, or f the, the the steps after? the release of this uh, feasibility study looking at the horses, um, if it's all quite positive, you know, what could happen from there? The next step there is to um, get on with a, um, a BFS or bankable feasibility study and this feasibility study brings the confidence level of the project um, up dramatically so we, we, we could it's called a bankable feasibility study because you'd go to a bank if you needed to borrow money to do the project. 
And in that study, we have to do a lot more metallurgical testing. We have to do a lot more drilling to ensure that we, the body is robust and uh, it, it sort of continues between drill holes. So um, there's a lot of drilling, a lot of um, metallurgical work, a lot of pilot plant testing. We've got to get a lot of rock so that we can uh, prove that the system works. And that will take us 18 months or so to do that. And, and also we've got to start looking at things like how do we get 20 million tonnes per annum to the port? Can we build ports that will um, take that much gear? How do we transport it to that port? So there's a lot of things we have to do. But um, reasonably confident? Yes, mate. All right. <laughs> How long before uh, Carpentaria becomes an active mining organisation to wrap it? Oh, uh, I would love to say by the end of 2014. All right. We'll take that as said. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Sheard, I thank you. Thanks, mate. See you. Okay, Nick Sheard, Executive Chair with uh, Carpentaria Exploration.